Hey, what is up guys, for this how-to video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Studio Functions in Rec Room Studio. So there's a ton of things you could do with Studio Functions, and I'm going to be showing you how to just enable and re-enable your object. So I'm just going to call this one on. In the instructions right here, you click Select Method, your Game Object, Active, and click Set. So there's two ways you could do this. You could either add another Studio Function and put this one on Off, or what we could do is do input ports. This name right here, I'm just gonna do name this on. All right, right here on this bool, right here is your input. But I'm just gonna keep that. And for this one, I'm going to do an off one. Just for people that might just be using two different functions. So click select method, game object, active, set. All right, keep it unchecked because we're turning it off. But if you're turning it on, then check the little box. All right, so once you have uploaded your build, then get these studio function chips right here and connect your studio object to them and configure your studio function chips to be whatever your function is. Now when you activate the off chip, it'll turn off, but then you activate the on chip, it'll turn back on. But since this one is a bool and I switch this one to false and activate it, it'll turn off. Okay, so that was just a really simple way you could use studio functions to turn on and off your objects. Now I'm showing you how you can change the material of your object using the studio functions. So first add a new function. I'm just gonna call this one red because I'm gonna change the cube to red. Now select method, mesh render, material, set. And now we'll just create a new material. I'm just gonna call it red and make it red. Go back to your Recom object script and drag and drop your material into your value right here. Now I'm gonna add an another function, call this one white, select method, mesh render, material, set. Now I'm going to create another material call it white, click back on the cube, and drag and drop this material onto the function. So once you have uploaded your build, then get a studio function chip again. Configure it to be your function, and now connect your object to the function. And now when you activate it, then it will change materials. I'm gonna clone it, and then make this one the white material. Connect that up. Now if you activate this one, then it changes to white. So now I'm going to be showing you how to add a studio function to a text. Like you could change the text color and just change the text. So just add a new studio function. I'm going to call this one text. Select method. Text mesh pro. Go up here to T and text string set. And now add a new input. Make this one a string. And now click on the string right here. And now click on your input port text. So now once you get a studio function in your room, then you should have an input string and then once you set it it should set the text all right so now i'm just going to add another function and call this one color because i'm going to change the color of the text select method text mesh pro color set and now your input port add an input port set this one to color and now for your color right here do the color input all right so now once you're in rec room and get a studio function chip configure it and make it i'm going to do the color first connect this up to text and now if you activate it it should change the color of what the input is. All right, so now if I clone the function, configure it, and make this one the text, connect this up to the text. Now if I make the text something, activate it. Now it will set the text. Okay guys, hope you guys enjoyed this how-to video. I hope this helped you with studio functions. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments about the studio functions and have any ideas of what other how-to videos I should make. I will see you guys in the next video.